So is it T plus one or T plus two? And what the hell are you talking about? Well, it depends. Okay, so settlement is when the broker dealers settle up. And we'll get into that. But the question comes down to, is it T plus one, whether we, whether we settle on the day after the trade date or two days after the trade date, business days? It comes down to when you're talking about. If it's May 2024, settlement is T plus two for almost everything and T plus one for treasuries and options when you trade them. And I'll get into what settlement is. If it's after May 28th, it is everything's T plus one. Makes life easier. Everything. Treasuries, options, corporates, communities, everything. Now, what is settlement? Settlement is when you buy shares or sell shares of through a broker dealer and when do they settle? So they settle T plus two right now or just in general settle. So if you buy shares on Monday, right now in May, it's going to settle on Wednesday. And what does that mean? That means a broker dealer, if you bought shares, they're going to send the money to the other broker dealer, the seller, and then the seller is going to send the shares on Wednesday. That's T plus two. Then you're settled. Then you're considered the owner. Starting May 28th, going forward, it's going to be T plus one, which means if you buy stock on Monday, it settles on Tuesday. So it means on Tuesday, the broker dealer sends the money. And you receive the shares. No, that's good. That's easy. That's settlement. Let's add in payment date. Reg T settlement sometimes they use it, but we're going to call it payment date. When I say settlement, I mean broker dealer settling. When I say payment, that means when you, the customer, have to pay. So if you are a customer and you want to buy shares on Monday, let's pretend we're already into May 28th. Make life easier. No, screw it. Let's stay, let's stay into May 2024. It really confuse you. So if on Monday, because it'll, it'll help me explain the other shit. So if on Monday you buy shares, we know it settles on Wednesday, T plus two. That's when the broker dealers settle. You, however, the customer, have until Friday. You have four days to pay. Really, settlement plus two. So you buy it on Monday. It settles on Wednesday. You have two more days. So that's settlement plus two. And that doesn't change. That S plus two does not change even after May. I'll show you why. Now, again, you buy stock on Monday. Settles on Wednesday now. Starting May 28th, you buy stock on Monday. It settles on Tuesday. Now, this payment date goes from four days to three days because it's always settlement plus two. So if you buy stock on Monday after May 28th, it settles on Tuesday, which and then you have until Thursday to pay, three days to pay for that. That makes sense. That is what's going forward from now on. And what does that mean? That's when you have to pay for the trades. That's when you have to have the money in the account or deliver the shares. Either one of those works. That's called reg T settlement. Even though you buy the shares on Monday and now going forward, it settles on Tuesday, you can sell it two minutes later, but you're not actually the owner until the next day. We call this T plus one next day, stuff like that. Now, you can change it up. You can go, okay, you know what? I want to settle cash, which means same day settlement by 2.30. That's, but no security trades that way. That's called a cash or same day settlement, not a cash account. Don't get confused in cash account. Cash account just means you're paying cash 100% as opposed to a margin account where you pay 50% or a version of that. Again, a cash trade, same day trade, means you buy it on Monday, it settles on Monday at 2.30, basically. And then if you buy it after 2.30, it settles within 30 minutes of that. We don't need to go into that. So again, starting May 28th, from now on, settlement is T plus one, <clears throat> which means you settle the next day, the next business day. So you buy it on Monday, it settles on Tuesday. You buy it on Friday, it settles on Monday. Makes life easier. You don't have to make all the confusing, wait, is it T plus two or T plus one? STC, it's May. STC actually updated their, their books already. So if you're going to answer a question with Securities Training Corp in May, then assume that it's T plus one. Here's the good thing. Even after May 28th, this is what FINRA says to me. On May 28th, from that day forward, it is on the exam. Uh, from May, May 28th, T plus one is the answer if it shows up. It most likely will not be in there. But if it is, you are to answer it correctly as the current rule. So come May 28th, you are answering T plus one. Here's the good part. One, they're taking all, probably all the questions out. They bring them back later. Probably a couple months later. But two, if it's there... It's only going to give you a choice of T plus one or T plus two. So if somehow, God forbid, they miss a T plus two question, there's not going to be a T plus one choice. So you just take the T plus two. But I'm saying from now on, pretty much, if you're taking the test from the 28th on, you are to answer T plus one on the answer. That's your settlement. Now, let's talk about dividends. So normally, you know what a dividend is? When the corporation pays it, they have the DERP, the D-E-R-P. So it's almost like... Drip. It's, it's still, so here's the deal. So normally, you have declaration date, the day, the day they announce the dividend. They set the record date, the day you must be an owner of record to get the dividend. You have to have settled, T plus one or T plus two now, by the record date. 
If you buy it, if the record date's Thursday and you buy it on Tuesday, this is now in May. If you buy it on Tuesday, it settles on Thursday, you get the dividend. I want you to picture this. When you're thinking of dividends, I want you to picture there's this little guy, girl, tr- called the transfer agent at the end of the day, looks at the list of, on the end of the record date, looks at the list of all the shareholders and anyone on that list gets the dividend. If you're not on the list, you don't get the dividend. So let's go into this. Original T plus two world, but only for another week or two. If you want to buy it, you have to buy it two days before the record date. So then the day before the record date is called the X date. What does X mean? X means without. X girlfriend, X wife, X boyfriend, X dividend, all means without. So if you buy it the day before the record day, it's you don't get the dividend. Now that's old news. In about a week or two, that's gone. Okay. Now, so if you're watching this right away, good to go. If you're taking it before the May 28th, we're good to go. That's the rule. If you're doing it after 28th, here's the difference. Remember, settlement is T plus one. So if you buy it, say the record date's Thursday, you buy it on Wednesday, you're settling on Thursday, you're getting the dividend. So that cum date, I'm not spelling that, okay? The cum date is the day you get the dividend. It's Latin for with. Um, But the X date is the day you don't get it. So if you buy the shares on the record day, you don't get the dividend because it settles on Friday. So if you buy, let's go, we're we're, we're in a new world, okay? Record date's Thursday. If you buy stock on Wednesday, you get the dividend because you buy it on Wednesday. It settles on Thursday. You're on the list. You get the dividend, so then the seller doesn't. If you buy stock on Thursday, you settle on Friday. Your name doesn't go on the list until Friday, so you don't get this year's dividend, this quarter's dividend, but the seller does. Because remember, if you sell the stock on the record day, you're coming off the list on Friday. As of that night, you're still on there, so you get the dividend. So the X day... The buyer doesn't get the dividend, the seller does. If you buy it before the X day, the buyer gets a dividend, the seller does not. So let's recap the new rules just so we can wrap around on this, okay? By the time you're watching this, because nobody watches my shit, by the time you're watching this, everything's T plus one, which means you buy it on Monday, it settles on a Tuesday, you buy it on a Friday, it settles on a Monday. It's T plus one, settles the next day. But payment day is now T plus three, not T plus two, okay? Not T plus four. So it's settlement plus two. It's that, that's great. It stays the same. So think if you buy stock on Monday, you, get, you have to pay for it by Thursday, but it settles on Tuesday. Uh, okay. Buy stock on Monday. It settles on Tuesday. You have to, don't have to pay for it until Thursday. But let's see something. What happens if you don't pay for the trade, right? Let's say you buy the stock on Monday. It settles on Tuesday and Thursday. You go, ah, I got no money, baby. I got no money. They can request from FINRA an extension. You can get an extension. But if then you don't pay for it, okay, they freeze your account. That's called free riding. They freeze your account. What does that mean? It means they take your firstborn child. No, of course it doesn't mean that. It's not even a big deal. They just freeze your account for 90 days. That During that 90 days, they don't let you pay later for it. So you don't get three days to pay. They will not accept an order from you unless the money is in the account already. So whether it's, even if it's margin, you put down the 50% or the full for the cash account, you don't need, you have to have the money in the account before they accept the order during that 90 days. Once the 90 days is up, we don't care. Thank you very much. And remember, check me out every Tuesday and Thursday night on YouTube at 8.30 p.m.